μεγάλη τιμή σήμερα που το Hellenic American Bankers Association, ένα, ένας από τους πιο σοβαρούς και αναγνωρισμένους ε, ε, οργανισμούς στην Αμερική, που με τιμά για τις προσπάθειες που κάνουμε εδώ και 30 χρόνια για να προβάλλουμε αφενός την Ελλάδα σαν επιχειρηματικό και επενδυτικό προορισμό και αφετέρου την αυτιλία σε ένα ευρύτερο κοινό παγκοσμίω. Ε, είμαι ιδιαίτερα περήφανο που μαζί με την αδελφή μου Όλγα και την ομάδα μου έχουμε πραγματικά εδώ και τόσα χρόνια αποδειχθεί σε μια συστηματική προσπάθεια προβολή τη Ελλάδο στο αμερικανικό και το ευρύτερο επενδυτικό κοινό. Και εκείνο που είναι ιδιαίτερα σημαντικό είναι ότι το συνέδριό μα, το οποίο φέτο κλείνει 25 χρόνια, ε, πραγματοποιείται στην Νέα Υόρκη κάθε χρόνο ανεξαρτήτω των οικονομικών και πολιτικών συνδικών στην Ελλάδα. Και το πιο σημαντικό είναι ότι καταφέραμε και το κρατήσαμε πάρα πολύ ποιοτικό στα δύσκολα χρόνια, όταν η Ελλάδα πέρναγε μια μεγάλη κρίση και νομίζω ότι η συμβολή μας τότε ήταν ακόμα πιο σημαντική και πιο κρίσιμη. Ε, παράλληλα με την αυτιλία, η ελληνική αυτιλία είναι πρωτοπόρο στον κόσμο, η Ελλάδα έχει περίπου το 20% του παγκοσμίου στόλου, ε, Παρ' όλα αυτά, το Αμερικανικό κοινό δεν είναι τόσο ε, οικείο με την αυτιλία. Είναι πολύ πιο οικείο με άλλες μορφές ε, μεταφορών όπως τα αεροπλάνα, τα φορτηγά, ε, τα τρένα. Ε, και έτσι λοιπόν, όταν έχουμε πολλές ναυτιλιακές εταιρείε εισηγμένες στην Αμερική, υπάρχει πρόσφορο έδαφος για ενημέρωση του επενδυτικού κοινού και για να διευρύνουμε τη μετοχική και επενδυτική βάση των εταιριών αυτών. Και παράλληλα κάνουμε συνέδρια, 18 συνέδρια το χρόνο, σε 10 μεγάλα ναυτιλιακά κέντρα παγκοσμίω. Οπότε η κάποια link νομίζω επάξια ε, φέρνει την ελληνική σημαία και τη σημαία της ελληνικής ναυτιλίας. Ε, ειδικά στο κομμάτι της ναυτιλίας είμαι πολύ περήφανος και συγκεκριμένος να πω ότι η κάποια link είναι ένα από τα πιο αναγνωρίσιμα και σε βαστά ονόματα σε παγκόσμιο επίπεδο για την αυτιλία. Ευχαριστώ θερμά το ΧΑΜΠΑ. Είναι ιδιαίτερη τιμή και συγκίνηση το να έχει την έτσι αναγνώριση από ανθρώπους και οργανισμούς που are your peers. Οπότε πραγματικά ευχαριστώ πάρα πολύ για αυτή τη μεγάλη τιμή. Message from the former Prime Minister of Greece, Konstantinos Karamanlis. It gives me a great pleasure to address you on this occasion, since I have known and appreciated Nicholas Bornozis for almost 50 years now. As his classmate and friend at the Athens Law School, I remember how motivated, how restless and visionary he was already back then. In our long discussions and searches for the future, Nikos identified a gap, and filling that gap was meant to be a lifetime goal and vision for him, a vision that was later embodied in the now famous Capital Link Invest in Greece Forum. Nikos devoted his life to this vision, and today we can definitely say 
that the Capital Link Invest in Greece Forum represents the protagonist in its field. It is the leading vehicle for introducing and raising the profile of Greece among the American, but also the global investment community. Throughout its long history, the longest in its kind, it has cultivated strong ties between the Greek and U.S. business communities. The work that he does with promoting the Greek shipping industry, in particular, is remarkable. In this endeavor, his devoted and loving sister Olga is always by his side. Nico, I am very touched and proud of the honor that is being made to you tonight. Your passion, your hard work, your commitment are honored. You deserve it. I want to congratulate you, Nico, because you've always steadily loved Greece, loved our country, over and above parties, over and above politics. You just tell it like it is. And I, on behalf of the Greek people, I wanted to let you know that we admire you, we love you, and we thank you. It's difficult to describe Nicholas Bornozis in just a few words. He is a man of intuition. Uh, he has a very broader perspective of the world. And of course, uh, he seems to be always one step ahead. Uh, innovate, an innovative person who um, uh, is characterized by many as the uh, investment relations guru. But I would be more specific in saying that he's a man of values. Even in times of crisis, he fights for excellence, he fights for sustainability, accountability. And when Greece was in crisis, he immediately, uh, when I was the Prime Minister at the height of the crisis, the sovereignty of crisis, he wanted to help proposals with ideas, with bringing investment to Greece. Uh, that is the kind of people we do need, even today, to help not only our country, but I would say the world. I've known Nicholas for many years. During this time, Nicholas has been a great ambassador for Greece. Year after year, Nicholas organizes the premier conference for Greece, uniting Greece, Greece's business and political leaders with U.S. investors here in New York. Nicholas, you are to be commended for all your efforts in bringing our two great countries closer together. Congratulations on this well-deserved award. For almost 30 years, Nicholas has been a leader in investor relations globally. He holds 18 top-level forums each year, but who's really puts his heart into capital flows between the U.S. and Greece. And his Rolodex is amazing. He can access anyone. I have found both his relationships and his advice very useful in my own investment. Nicholas is an excellent tour guide for capital on its journey toward high risk-adjusted rates of return. So Capital Link is the right name for his company. Congratulations, Nicholas. I would like to congratulate my friend Nicholas on receiving this very prestigious award. I've known Nicholas for several years as a result of his tireless and enthusiastic promotion of the shipping industry and Greek shipping in particular. His creation, Capital Link, has become an essential forum for all serious shipping investors, bankers and owners to meet and discuss the industry and investment opportunities. Nicholas's promotion of Greece is also a major contribution to keeping a focus on the opportunities in that country despite the economic difficulties of recent years. Shipping has re-emerged in the 21st century as a serious industry sector within the industrialized world. Globalization could not have taken place at the speed and with the same impact had the shipping industry not made the growth in trade possible. Greek ship owners remain at the center of the industry and the US at the center of raising capital. Nicholas is one of the key facilitators of making and promoting the connection between the two and his continuing energy and enthusiasm will remain an essential part of making sure the industry presents itself and its investment opportunities properly. 
as transformational changes take place in the industry, the need to attract capital will only increase. This award properly recognizes Nicholas's immense contribution. Nicholas, it's with my deepest felt uh, feelings that I want to congratulate you uh, on the award of the Hellenic Bankers, American Bankers Association 2023 uh, Businessman of the Year. Um, we have worked together for almost 10 years now uh, in, in a very primary role, uh, sponsoring Capital Link and a number of, of your key uh, conferences, uh, most notably the, the New York Maritime Forum in each fall. Uh, these are events that, uh, in our opinion, are, are, are really important for the shipping industry uh, to highlight the industry to, to investors, uh, to stakeholders, uh, to financiers, uh, to people that are uh, connected to the industry, um, support the industry, and the work that you do, the work that you do with your, your team um, is, is valuable. Uh, and we very, very much you know, enjoy our cooperation. We look forward to that cooperation growing and flourishing. Shipping continues to have challenges. It's 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 transforming. It's it's moving into the the decarbonization or down the decarbonization path. Uh, this will require significant new capital resources to finance. So the role of of, of financiers, the markets, investors, um, will be important uh, to the industry, uh, so that so that it can it meet it can meet its goals. Uh, and, and I think the work that you do, I think the work that we do together um, is, is constructive, it's valuable, um, and, 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 and it's helping the industry to get where it wants to go. Uh, we certainly view these conferences as important uh, as a way of, of highlighting uh, DNB uh, as a shipping bank, which, which we, we are and have been for many, many, many years. And in Capital Link and in yourself, we've, we've, we've found a partner that uh, we know shares uh, the uh, the real commitment uh, and, and love of the industry, um, uh, which is necessary to stick with it <laughs> through its uh, through its through its challenging up and down times. So, again, I believe this is an award that you have worked a lifetime uh, to achieve. Uh, it's it's very well earned. We are very proud to be your partner. Uh, and we will be very proud to be your partner in the future. Congratulations again, and I wish you all the best. Congratulations, Nicholas, on being honored with this prestigious award by the Hellenic American Bankers Association. A well-deserved recognition of a lifetime of service to Greece and to the shipping industry. It is a privilege for me to be given the opportunity to join with my tributes to you. Nicholas, you are first and foremost a really great guy and someone I have enjoyed working with and meeting over the years. And through Capital Link, you have created a crucial space for shipping's most important stakeholders to come together. Meeting spaces such as this are key to helping us work out strategic ways of tackling current and future challenges such as decarbonization and digitalization. Through Capital Link events, I have witnessed firsthand closer alliances being forged across the maritime industry, something which I believe is vital as we tackle big transformations. You are a great facilitator of collaboration and the work you and your team does help guide the maritime industry. I'm very proud of the close and productive partnership that has been established between you and I on a personal level, but also between our two companies, Capital Link and DNV. And I look very much forward to many more years of future collaboration. Again, congratulations, Nicholas, and enjoy the evening. We all know he's got the Capital Link Conference. 25 years ago, I started that mostly in New York, but it brings people from around the world. It again gives Greece a credible platform to 
present its case about investing, to talk about its politics and policies. A lot of politicians come to this event, in particular the past two years have been very impressed. Um, a lot of business people, we saw some of it, like Tom Paulson, who speaks to a lot of people. And it's amazing how that forum has given not only the participants the opportunity to dialogue and exchange ideas, but it gave platform and credibility that's not easy to think. They could get a big PR campaign, but it would never work as effectively as this interaction with actual investors, questions they raise, and so on. Every year, in each location, the movers and shakers and the decision makers are at Temple Link conferences. So with all these um, conferences, he made a very meaningful um, and, and with his uh, advice and, and, and uh, uh, mentoring of, of uh, uh, public companies in, in this country, originating from Greece, but not all of them. He made a many, meaningful contribution in, in promoting Greek shipping abroad. So uh, I would like to conclude by introducing Nicholas as a patriot, as a visionary, as an innovator, a person who leads with compassion and social responsibility, and a friend, Nicholas. Katsimatidis, he's the president of the Red Apple Loop. Please welcome. Nick has done so much, so much for relationships between Greece and the United States. I was born in Greece. My mother was born in Constantinople. My father in Nisos, well, it was under Italian occupants. In the 25 years or so that Nate has been running capital Nate, he has done a tremendous job opening up markets opening up possibilities, opening up the ability to do business. And that's why, no matter where I was today, I said, I'm going to be here for Nick. Nick, congratulations. You've done a great job. Nobody else, you and your sister Olga, Nobody else to have done what you have done. Putting it all together, God bless you, and when we will be extended. Thank you to the Capital Board. The Capital is one of the most important, most prestigious, most impactful of the organization, British American organizations, and I'm deeply honored to be recognized by, by my leaders, by Capital. Thank you so much. And of course, the tremendous thanks to all of you who came here tonight, but particular thanks to Dean, John, and John, who were so generous uh, with their uh, introduction. So I know I have to speak for a few minutes, and if you don't mind, I will take a few more minutes, and I hope not to bore you. So I, I want to reflect a little bit on my, my own career. When I came to the U.S. in 1980 to study, it was not really obvious to me that I was coming to a place that I would call home for life. And in 1982, when I graduated from Harvard with, with an MBA, the career path of uh, corporate America in the U.S. seemed the most logical option. However, my first job, the one that I accepted after graduating from, from Harvard, was in London. And I went to London for that job. However, the unexpected happened. My wife, Marie, came to visit Athens. I think uh, the sun, the moon, you know, the green the air, uh, borderline, I fell in love. So my 
So I'm in London, London for a month, <laughs> and uh, I came back to England, where I have a happy to be in other things. So I came back, and uh, the first 13 years, uh, I, from 1982 to uh, 1995, I pursued a career in corporate America, and I think if you read my resume, I did Bruce and wife. However, there were two things that um, really were meant to me. Number one, for those that you know me, I'm not exactly the corporate, the epitome of a corporate person. I'm very entrepreneurial, I want to do my own things. Uh, and secondly, I really wanted to do something that related to Greece. I, I couldn't really understand Greece just as the vacation spot for me. So what happened is that I had a flurry of ideas, an avalanche of ideas that I presented to, to Marie. After all, I started being at Harvard Business School and my wife was the captive sounding board. And uh, it did put a little bit of a strain on the relationship because every single idea I presented to her to start my own business in exactly. <laughs> Except Captain Lynn. So I did found Captain Link. And uh, I think Captain Link uh, ever since has developed into a very nice organization. The work that we do uh, does not focus only on Greece, we go well into Greece, but it's enough of Greece to bring it up to my heart and my mind and I feel quite balanced. The thing that you recognize me tonight that I'm grateful for is uh, the efforts that we have been doing uh, to promote Greece as a business and investment destination and then shift. So I will make a uh, few remarks on each, uh, each kind of in each direction. When it comes to promoting Greece as a business and investment destination, uh, as uh, Dean mentioned, uh, indeed in 1994 I think I organized the first uh, Rose of the Athens Stock Exchange. Nobody knew about the Athens Stock Exchange at the time, and the market had not yet taken off. Uh, if you recall, the Greek stock market took off with the bank for a number of years, and at the time I owned a stock broking firm, uh, Alexander Capital. Uh, we used to represent Sigma Securities, one of the largest uh, stock broking firms in Athens. So we really promoted the Greek stock market very consistently and aggressively both as capital in and uh, as kind of capital. And then, of course, the Greek stock market imploded. Uh, I remember at the time saying that uh, in Greek, Pame από την εποχή του Περικλέους, στην εποχή του Τισοφοκλέους. So we go from the Pericles golden years to the Sophocleus, to the street where the other stock exchange was located at the time. But again, as I said, at some point of time, the Greek stock market imploded. In the meantime, Olga and I have come up with the idea that if you really want to promote Greece, you need a platform that will be there for good, permanently, that will present Greece in a very responsible way, uh, very top level. And we started capitaling the Invest in Greece Forum. Well, it took a long time to develop it into the institution that it has become. Uh, I have to say a couple of things here. I'm particularly proud of the fact that we have done this event year after year, no matter what are the political and economic conditions in Greece. And that is particularly relevant when, uh, as Dean mentioned, things in Greece were tough. Uh, and I remember the time, uh, December of uh, 2015, uh, it was the first time it was right, it was the first uh, year of the Chippewa government. If you all remember the July referendum, uh, the yes, the, the no that turned into yes, uh, and all the, uh, you know, all the uh, peripeties and that was Greece had gone through. So December of 1995, I remember 8 o'clock in the morning, uh, it was a packed room. It was the first time that the first, that the four institutions, Tesla and Tesla, had come to New York uh, outside of Greece in the conference to talk about Greece. Uh, the European uh, Central Bank, the European Stability Mechanism, the European Commission, and the IMF. Actually, I have to say, 
I was older who had put that amazing uh, panel together. And So I'm really particularly grateful that we have the opportunity to contribute and contribute when it mattered the most. Uh, right now, Greece has turned the corner. Uh, we're in a very different uh, environment, uh, but I think still the idea of doing something consistently, constantly, always top level, attracting uh, every successful government, successful government from the US or Greece and Feature with leaders from the government and the uh, private sector is really uh, tremendous. I will go now into uh, uh, New Zealand. Uh, as uh, John Tetipatel mentioned, when New Zealand came to Wall Street, it was uh, really not very, very well known. Actually, I was with Myros Talmason on a panel in London last week, and we were discussing about that. Shipping is the invisible industry. Shipping became uh, prevalent. Everybody started knowing about shipping. When Wall Street came out with a motto, no shipping, no shopping. When during the crisis we couldn't get the goods of everybody delivered to the internet, and we had all these bottlenecks around the world, that's when the people said, ah, shipping, you know, very important. No shipping, no shopping. But anyway, going back to 2005, when uh, the Greek firm started listing in New York. Uh, frankly, uh, I think I had found my calling at the time. I had been uh, a shipping banker. I had been actually a visiting lecturer on, on shipping in London for a long time. I had been an investment manager, a stock broker. So everything that I had done glued together. And thankfully also, I had a ton of relationships among the Greek ship owners. And I was able to transform that into helping all of these companies navigate their way through the US capital markets. And if you allow me to be a little bit not arrogant, my wife says that uh, as a Greek, I am very low profile. And I am. Uh, those that you know me, you know I'm, I'm a particularly low profile person, no power status. Uh, I actually don't like the use of living because when people talk to me, because you do not earn the use of plural, simply through an employment relationship, you earn it through respect. But anyway, um, so uh, we started uh, this conference here as a means of raising the profile of, uh, of Greek shipping and shipping around the world. And uh, I'm absolutely proud of the truth that uh, Capital Inc. is today present in the 10 major locations, John Petipatel has mentioned them, with 18 events, and uh, all of them are top of the line. So I'm uh, absolutely humbled. Uh, actually, I will tell you uh, something that happened uh, a week ago. Uh, we were discussing with the uh, Shanghai government on a Zoom call uh, about putting together an event that will take place uh, in October. We had uh, about a two hour call. There was a Chinese translator, because obviously my Chinese is not existent. But I took a lot of pride when I was listening to a language I could not understand at all. And there were two words that were repeatedly mentioned. Capital Link and Nicholas. <laughs> I said, wow, you know, we are really a brand. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm really delighted to have this opportunity and thank you for uh, honoring uh, these efforts. I will conclude by saying a few important things. First of all, I'd like to thank my family. And it's not being said, everybody thank your family. They have really supported me and they've actually put up with me to the degree that uh, they have contributed uh, a new uh, addition to the medical directory. Uh, I don't know if you have heard about chronic Telephonitis. <laughs> uh, I am uh, on the phone 24 7. Uh, and uh, a favorite picture, actually, not that favorite, is my three year old son who stands up, takes my mobile, and throws it on the swimming pool. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'd like to thank my family. And when we talk about family, I have to say that uh, I need to share all these uh, great things that you say about being older. 
You all know that I'm in front of the So, I understand in front of the day, but in reality, it should be all the kind of meaning because we know that we love each other. And of course, I could not have done all these things without my great team by my side. And uh, I will tell you the message again. It's not nothing to say. I will take it a second to say Eleni Bay and I have been together for 23 years. Four young people and Carol for 20 years. Uh, Annie Zoo, 12 years. Actually, I have to tell you, Annie is getting married this November and she did me the great honor of asking me to take her down the aisle. Uh, and then we have uh, Armando, Kayla, uh, Markella, uh, Kevin, all of them are anywhere between 6 and 10 years. So, Captain Lake is a team that you voluntarily check in and very few people check out. I would like to thank our colleagues in the Athens office who are not here tonight, but they are great members of the team. Athena Kosmadaki, Victoria Tsukala, Stavros Kalaris, and Anna Wichman. Both teams, they work late hours, early mornings, late nights. Uh, they go not one mile extra, many more extra miles. I think, again, my wife, uh, says it best when she tells me that I'm not going to corporate culture. Capital Link is not a company, Capital Link is a company. So thank you guys very much. And uh, I am closing by saying nothing would have been achieved without the great uh, support and friendship of my clients, of all those people who supported us and believed in us for, for years. A lot of them are here tonight. Uh, there is a big uh, shipping conference taking place in New York, not organized by Capital Link this time. Uh, but they had a lot of invitations to go to, but they preferred to come here and uh, support me. And I have to tell you guys, nothing would have happened if uh, I didn't have your support, your friendship, uh, and your confidence in, in me. And at the end of the day, what I'm most proud of is not the things we have accomplished professionally, I am, it's the relationships we have built over time, because these relationships bind people together, uh, and uh, these are bonds that stay there forever. So thank you to everybody, and keep going to this video. I think it's very important that the uh, Hobble honors him this very, very important award this evening as a 39th uh, recipient. And Nick, if you come up here, I have from the state of Rhode Island, and it's not just the state of Rhode Island, it's probably from all our Greek Americans that are elected from Pennsylvania, from Connecticut, New York, South Carolina, Nevada, Minnesota. We had Greek Americans elected in 18 states, the Lieutenant Governor of Nevada, five members of Congress, who are very passionate about what Nick has done. In our state of Rhode Island, if anyone knows, is the home of our Congress Secretary of the United States of America, Gina Raimondo. So Nick, it is my honor this evening to present a recognition from our state as the recipient of HAVA, of uh, Person of the Year for 2023. And it's a great honor to bestow this from just not only Rhode but from all of us across our great country. Thank you very much for this uh, additional honor. I have to tell you, I don't think I deserve all this honor. Thank you very, very much. I receive them humbly on behalf of all of myself and my team. And by the way, thank you for mentioning one thing which I forgot to, to say before that I'm particularly proud of. March of 2020, that's when COVID uh, hit New York this time. We had a conference plan in New York that we have been holding every March. Uh, and we were doing it uh, March 20, I remember. Uh, so at the beginning of March, I was tracking the statistics, three people with COVID, seven people with COVID, 30 people with COVID, and then it's COVID. So people started calling, come and this and that. To make a long story short, 
uh, and Lou was very kind to bring us up. I'm so proud of my team. Uh, within two weeks, we turned our conference from an in-person conference into, a, into an online one. Now, what is the importance of that? The importance of that is that it happened when everybody was home, without any other means of communicating. So, it was the only conference at the time, but the first ones in our sector that did it, uh, Lloyd List, a very well-known publication, called it a global phenomenon. And I have to tell you, I'm so uh, moved when I meet people and they say, thank you very much for having done this, when we're all miserable at home, we couldn't talk to anybody, and we could log into our computer and connect with all those leaders around the world. But we kept doing it all the time. And uh, thank you for, uh, I mean, that earned us a lot of appreciation and of respect. Uh, and I remember Gary Wolf from uh, Sewell and Kissel, a law firm, who actually sent me an email and he said, Nicholas, thank you for making the impossible possible. I mean, that really meant the world to me. And so, thank you. Thank you.